Hi guys, so today I'm gonna tell you about a very useful tool I have on uh, searing a rifle or just uh, shooting it and that's uh, targets so I, I used two of them for searing a rifle I first bore sight it if you bore sight a rifle properly it will always be on paper somewhere on paper and this is at a hundred meters uh, it works on 100 yards as well, but I use metric, so this will be interesting for metric users. So what this is, is basically uh, a grid with numbers. And uh, each square is uh, 1 centimeter or 10 millimeters. And uh, if you use a, a, a mil scope, uh, 1 mil uh, or 1 tenth mil scope at least, 1 tenth of a mil at, uh, at 100 meters is one of these squares. So let's say for example that your impact is here when you try to hit in the middle. Then you can see well I'm gonna have to go eight clicks up and six clicks uh, right. So what it basically is you can zero your scope with two shots. One shot to see where you're hitting and another shot to uh, make sure you made the correct cor corrections on the turrets. And this is really important when you shoot expensive calibers like uh, 338 uh, Lapua or something. <laughs> but it's uh, very easy to use for uh, all rifles, of course. So, bore sight, one shot, correct, and make sure you hit in the middle. The, the other target I use, I use on uh, a bit longer ranges. Uh, and it looks like this because uh, when you shoot at 300 meters or something uh, this little dot will be totally obscured, obscured by, uh, by the reticule <coughs> so uh, when you have these thicker lines you can put the reticule in the middle of them and then you'll have a better point of aim so uh, it's easier to make uh, a good shot with this but, but this is not that good when you're searing the rifle or just shooting at 100 uh, meters because uh, you can't see the bullet impacts, the holes in the paper with your uh, scope when you hit in the black, which you often do because it's close to the middle but you can't see your holes anyway at uh, 300 uh, meters well I can with my Schmidt and Bender but uh, not uh, in the black so, but, but this is uh, good for other ranges or just as a general target uh, target uh, for, for shooting so uh, that's what I use. You might have seen that in my videos from the shooting range. So what I'm going to do is going to put links to a PDF document in the description of this video. And you can download them if you feel like it and use them uh, as much as you want. Uh, I'm not going to claim uh, copyright to this uh, target because I think I found a variant of this target someplace many many years ago and I've edited it and uh, made it my own since then. Uh, one thing to note is when you print these targets, uh, make sure you, you don't scale it, so like scale to fit paper or something like that. Because if you do that, uh, if the printer changes the scaling, uh, the, the boxes or the squares won't be one, one centimeter or ten millimeters. So don't use any scaling when printing. It, it will fit on, uh, this is a standard A4 paper. So that's a tip for you. Have a nice day everyone.